Stubby was found wandering across an army training station in Connecticut in the United States of America in 1917. One soldier, Corporal Robert Conroy, took liking on him and decided to call him Stubby because of his short tail. When Conroy had to go and fight, he did not want to leave Stubby behind, so he smuggled him on the ship to France with him. Sergeant Stubby took part in many battles, including the Battle of Marne and the Battle of Chateau Thierry. Stubby provided a number of skills that benefited the soldiers. Stubby had a great hearing and he knew when the enemy was coming, even from far away. He took on the role of a mercy dog where he found and comforted dying and injured soldiers in battle. Dogs have a greater sense of smell than humans, so Stubby was able to detect the dangerous smell of gas before any of the human soldiers could. Stubby, however, did get injured whilst helping the soldiers. He once got caught in a gas attack and he also got hit by sharp nail from a grenade. Sharp nail are little fragments that are thrown out after an explosion. Stubby's bravery and courage touched a lot of people and many wanted to pay tribute to him for all of his hard work. Stubby went to lots of marches and enjoyed the praise and attention he got from people all across the United States of America. Stubby made numerous appearances in the theatrical variety shows in America after the war. Stubby made two appearances to the White House where he met two US presidents, President Harding and President Collins. Sergeant Stubby passed away in 1926 when he was about 10 years old. Stubby gained so much popularity during his life that the New York Times newspaper wrote an article celebrating his life. It said that he didn't get scared even when his fellow soldiers did. It is also said Stubby's greatest skill was giving comfort and cheerfulness because he helped so many soldiers through such a difficult time.